Stoichiometry. The stoichiometry of a reaction between sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid is examined. Wash an evaporating dish with soap and water. Rinse it with distilled water and dry it. Heat the evaporating dish on high heat on a hot plate for 5 to 10 minutes to remove any trace of moisture. Remove the dish using crucible tongs and allow it to cool to room temperature. In the meantime, on the same hot plate, heat a 400 milliliter beaker filled with approximately 250 milliliter hot tap water. This will serve as the hot bath. Weigh the evaporating dish only after it's at room temperature and record the mass. Be sure to record every single digit on the balance. Tear the evaporating dish and weigh approximately 0.3 grams of sodium carbonate. Record the exact mass, making sure to record every single digit shown on the balance. Add distilled water dropwise to the sodium carbonate, just until the salt is moistened. Then add four drops of the methyl red indicator. The solution will turn yellow. Obtain about five milliliters of 3.0 molar hydrochloric acid in a graduated cylinder. Cover the evaporating dish with a clean and dry wash glass. Add the 3.0 molar hydrochloric acid dropwise using a medicine dropper down the spout of the evaporating dish without removing the wash glass. Add the hydrochloric acid until the solution is faint pink. Place the evaporating dish on the hot bath to heat the solution. Heat for approximately five minutes after the solution has warmed up. As the solution is heated, if the solution turns yellow, add more hydrochloric acid until the pink color returns. Remove the watch glass using crucible tongs. Rinse any solid that may have collected on the bottom of the watch glass into the evaporating dish with a small amount of distilled water. Do not use too much water as it will ultimately have to be boiled off. Continue heating the solution gently on medium to high heat. When the solid is almost dry, lower the heat to a minimum, grab some paper towel, remove the evaporating dish using crucible tongs, dry the bottom, then place the evaporating dish directly on the hot plate. Remove the beaker of water using beaker tongs. Heat the evaporating dish for a few more minutes if there's no spattering. Remove the evaporating dish off the hot plate using crucible tongs and allow it to cool to room temperature. Weigh the evaporating dish and record the exact mass. Reheat the evaporating dish directly on the hot plate. Remove it off the hot plate using crucible tongs and then allow it to cool to room temperature. Weigh the evaporating dish and record the mass. Continue reheating and reweighing until a constant mass is obtained. Then you'll know the product is completely dried. Clean the glassware and put away the equipment. <laughs>